everyone and welcome to August and um, before I start I just want to say thank you very much to all the new subscribers and um, all the lovely people who have commented and liked videos and shared them. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. This is quite a new thing for me to be doing so it's quite small um, at the moment so I really appreciated that extra boost to begin with. So, um, And I know that some of you are hoping to get readings so I'm going to do the draw to get do the free readings thing to see who wins um, in just a minute. Uh, but I just want to say I might not be doing this again immediately, but I am thinking of doing it quite regularly. So we'll see when I get around to doing it again. But um, thank you so much for taking part and please keep commenting and liking and, and um, participating because it all helps and it just keeps that nice flow of reciprocity going, you know, give and take, which is really, really lovely with these things. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to just go straight into this now and just let you know that I had a look at the videos and if you weren't expecting or hoping for reading, you can go past this bit. So the sign that, did, uh, that gave the most likes was Virgo and the sign that gave the most comments was Libra. So I've picked, I uh, had a look under the videos and there was only one person who asked for a reading under the Virgo uh, video and that's Tara Mills. So there's, you know, it's just you Tara and you've won a reading. So contact me please using, uh, you can use the link under the video and then go to my website and use the contacts page there. And um, so we've got Libras. I've picked the names of the people who asked for readings from Libra. And I'm going to just pick one of those. You can see that. Yeah, okay. Uh, all right, Spirit, you guide me. Okay, here. Right. So we've got, I knew it was going to be that one. That's right. It's Sawenika Reed. Okay, so Sawenika, can you please get in touch with me and. Um, we'll um, sort out a, t uh, a reading, just get some questions from you, that's all you need to do is to just contact me, let me know it's you and uh, I'll get some questions from you and record your reading for you and it will be posted up on the channel soon. Okay, so um, welcome to August everyone. Uh, July was a very interesting month, <laughs> as they all are at the moment. I hope you enjoy your reading, I'm going to get straight to it now. Thanks for watching, bye. Hello lovely Capricorn and this is your August message and forecast for this amazing month when we have the Sun in Leo and we have also a new moon solar eclipse in Leo which is going to be encouraging us to change in some way and um, also a fantastic time to be manifesting so let's have a quick look at what you need to be manifesting so you've got one two three four five six seven eight so your your eighth house is going to be lit up so for you this is going to be about it can be about finances it can be about other people's resources and how they have helped and supported you it can be about intimacy and trust Okay, so it's really going to be also about you looking at intimacy in a very different way. Looking at how you feel, how easily you trust and, you know, just beginning to get that greater sense of trusting yourself. Where do you, where do you trust yourself enough to deal with um, uh, infringements on your boundaries and where do you not trust yourself and where do you need to put those boundaries in place where is that going to be important is there one overall boundary that you need to enforce that is going to be the big change that the eclipse is asking you to put in place okay so you're going to be um, looking at that area very much over the uh, over that period so let's have a quick shuffle and see what the cards say that will add to that and uh, see how you can get the best out of August. What is it that you need to end? Okay, so we've got past, present, future. Advice and outcome. So, you're looking at new ways of trusting, new ways of um, 
allowing intimacy in as well, as well as allowing yourself to be supported, possibly, or changing the way that you are allowing yourself to be supported. So we've got your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth house, and then it's the second house as well, right? So, so the dilemma is between how you support yourself and how much you allow yourself to be supported. So it may be that you need to have a shift in that sense and to trust yourself more, believe in yourself more and believe that you can actually um, create value, create better circumstances for yourself and that you're going to be okay. All right, so past. Goddess of strength. So stand up for what you believe and you will um, gain respect by holding your ground. So this is what you've had to do in the past in order to come this far. You've had to really stand your ground and make it very clear exactly what it is you expect in relationships, in work situations, you know, with your finances, with study even, with family. You've had to put a lot of boundaries in place. You've had to have a lot of clarity about a lot of things and pass that clarity on to others in a way that's loving and that's meaningful and that actually sticks and makes sense, okay? Because it feels as if there may have been areas where um, you people have sort of had very, very high expectations of you and at some point you've just thought to yourself, I'm not going to be able to live up to all of this and be happy or this is not working for me. You know, something is just not work. This particular way of doing things, this particular way of relating or this particular way of running things is not working for me. And as it relates to, um, you know, resources, having your own resources or someone else's resources or trust in that respect, you've had to say, you've had to be very... Sorry, Cappy, I had to change my battery there. Right, so I hope, hopefully when I come back to edit this, it will all make sense. Um, so, um, yeah, you've had to say, you. so this could mean a number of things. It could mean that you've, um, you've been very strong in the past, very independent, very clear about, um, very clear about being in charge of your own circumstances, feeling valuable, being able to manifest your own uh, situations, your own abundance, your own finances, and it's possible that now someone's offering you something or they're asking you, you know, to let them help you and you're kind of thinking, well, you know, I am really used to looking after myself and being independent and that's how I want to stay. I need to be in control of that and that's absolutely right. And um, you're also, there's also a sense that you're saying, well, if I let you help me, that doesn't mean this, this or this. It's that sort of energy. It's like, you know, there, there are things that need to be made very clear. So if this is to do with uh, contractual agreements or something to do with a business where someone's coming on board to help to offer finance or whether it is a family thing or a relationship thing where someone's offering to help you out with something, just be very, very clear about what you feel about that situation and about you know what the boundaries are, what the agreement is. This is the past, this is what you've just moved through. So it, it could be an energy that you, you're already aware of what this refers to. And what you're being asked to do is to look for new ways to be really clear, possibly to compromise, but in any uh, regard, to be very, very clear about what you will or won't allow, what does or does not suit you, regardless of what the circumstances are, okay? Hope that makes sense. So where you are now is Angel of Manifestation, which is saying you, you can manifest what you want. Your efforts, determination and perseverance have paid off, is what the card actually says. So have faith in yourself, believe in yourself, don't give up too easily, you know, and certainly don't give up um, anything um, that's really, really valuable and important to you and close to your heart. So what it's basically saying is the energy is there for you to come to new agreements and new ideas about what your boundaries are and to be open and to, and to possibly trust an agreement, but only on the understanding that you 
do trust yourself, you're okay, you're coming from a position of strength and so anything that comes along to help you has to be on that understanding, not from a place of weakness or need, but it's also saying, you know, maybe you want to look at it, maybe you want to be open to it rather than falling, we know you can be independent, we know you can be strong, maybe there is something that can be um, discussed and you can come to an agreement that is mutually beneficial and mutually fair. Okay, so what we've got in the future, angel of abundance, there you are. Basically it's saying trust yourself, you're okay, you've got this, you've got this, you're okay, you're okay. All right, so let's move into uh, the advice. What's the advice? Angel of the universe and uh, message is you are being encouraged to expand your thinking. So yeah, I mean obviously that's what this is all about. It's about seeing things in new ways and possibly, let's take away all these other uh, sort of business arrangements and all these other things and if we look at it from a position of intimacy, you are being asked to open up to new levels of trust in intimacy and to just maybe let your some of those barriers down a little bit because we know that you can be independent, we know that you can be strong, we know that you can achieve things, but what is your overall aim? What is it that you're hoping to achieve? Are you hoping to achieve more connection? We know that Leo is the sign of love and that's the energy that's shining on all of this. Is it possible that in order for you to get the love that you want, you will need to just open up a little bit more? Okay, so, and uh, the outcome. Goddess of compassion. So it says self-criticism is diminishing your sense of self-worth. Don't be so hard on yourself, Capricorn. You've come a long way, you know, you've done a lot, you've come a long way, you've learned a lot, and you've still got a long way to go, and you will be going all the way with you. So it's time to learn to have a little bit of compassion for you in the same way that you would have for others and to not be too much of a harsh judge when situations do change and you find that perhaps you do need to um, to ask for help not necessarily in that uh, in a relationship but maybe you need to go to someone to get a loan like to a bank or to an institution you know remember it's all about the eighth house is about bigger financial institutions as well um, again not telling you to do this it's your free will choice if you've worked things out and you've decided that might be what you need to do then um, it looks as if you've got that handled you've got you know you've got certain things that you can do that will be a good backup plan think things through very very carefully don't be rash don't be overly uh, confident in that respect but just think about building I'm hearing building blocks building blocks for the future okay and uh, and trust that so when you manifest at the new moon solar eclipse this month what you're going to be manifesting is ah, bigger vision a bigger goal a bigger dream something that gets you out of old patterns of the past concerning um, trusting yourself okay and also allowing people in to work with you in possibly in joint ventures but also um, in terms of balance in relationships, you know, where is the giving and taking happening and, and what do you trust and do you trust yourself enough to, you know, to, to be interdependent as well as being independent and also, you know, how can you let go of that sense of that tight grip of control that sometimes stops you from letting uh, important people get very close to you. I hope all of that makes sense. Um, yeah, have a fantastic August. It's going to be really, really interesting. And I will speak to you again in September. Bye.